So can you tell us whether or not your character in Obi-Wan is an established Star Wars universe character or a new character? Can you say anything about that? I think I think Mickey Mouse is calling me, man. I'm gonna have to hit you <laughs> up in there. This is Steven with popculture.com. I'm here with Mr. O'Shea Jackson Jr. And we are talking about the now. Uh, fantastic new uh, dark comedy. Yeah. Emphasis on the dark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> coming to Roku on December 10th. That's uh, this Friday. Um, O'Shea, how are you doing today, sir? I'm good, man. I'm, uh, you know, I've been running around. I got a couple of couple of projects that I'm, I'm doing promotion for. So, you know, that's never a bad thing. Uh, everything's good with the Lakers. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate that for you. I'm yeah, very thanks. sorry. <laughs> um, so the, the now, uh, uh, like I said, emphasis on the dark. I mean, uh, it's one of those shows where you can't help but laugh at things you feel like you're not supposed to. Yep. Did it feel that way while you guys were filming it? Uh, for sure. You know, laughing, uh, you know, to its core is a, is a nervous reaction. Uh, so, you know, we've always laughed at things that we probably shouldn't have. We've all had a moment to ourselves where we're like, wow, I'm going to hell for that. And <laughs> um, yeah, from the jump, uh, reading it, it just, it just popped off the page of like, whoa. OK, um, we're here. We're in it. And, at, you know, at, at the, the the underlining like meaning for the show is just so genuine and it's such a good message of like you never know what your friends or, or anyone close to you is going through. And you have to be an uplifting force for them. You know, it's hard out here, especially now with, you know, things like uh, uh, the, the aftershock of the pandemic still going on. You, you just never know who needs to hear from you, who needs to um, who needs to hear your, your voice or, or, or your spirit up, uplift theirs. So, like, yeah, we knew we knew we were going to be dabbling into some dark territory, but we knew that our, our underlining message would be uh, the beautiful point of it all. Right on. So so for our, our viewers, the show is essentially about uh, Dave Franco's character, Ed, yeah. um, right. who is kind of this guy who's lived his life by a book. And uh, uh, things in his life don't go as planned, mm. kind of goes haywire. The show opens sort of post that and mm. things go even more haywire. And, and you and Jimmy Tatro play his closest friends mm. um, um, who are kind of there by his side through it all. Um, so what was it like working with Jimmy? Because the scenes between you guys, easily my favorite thing in the entire show. Absolutely hilarious. Honestly, I I've done a lot of I've done a lot of projects. I've I've you know I've had to meet a lot of people um, with within these eight years of me acting, and like I've never had a crew tighter than me, Dave, and Jimmy. Uh, I I really want to credit Dave for you know once we got out there to we shot it in Vancouver. He made sure uh, from the jump, he was like, yo, let's all get dinner. And I'm not going to lie. In the back of my mind, I was like, I don't want to get dinner with guys from work. <laughs> but, you know, I went out and, I, you know, we, we're all talking. And I'm like, yo, these dudes are dope. And we went out every week. Every week, the three of us went out to dinner. We're still in a group chat right now. You know, those are my boys. Um, and, yeah, that, that type of chemistry, it can't, you can't fake it. You can't, uh, you can't fake the funk. And yeah, man, those dudes are, they're animals, man. <laughs> That's my squad. That's my squad. I'm happy it translates on screen. Uh, Jimmy's my dude, fellow Laker fan. Uh, you know, Dave, when he goes full Franco, you know, he holds it down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the, that's my team right there. That's awesome. Yeah, I just I love the 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 back and forth between you and Jimmy, especially just how you play this very like straight man character and he's the very like goofy man character. And I just kept thinking to myself, I'm like, I would watch so many installments of this buddy comedy. <laughs> like, I'd watch a whole franchise of you guys on like a road trip com I don't know, road trip comedy, buddy cop movies, whatever. Like Yeah, we so all, funny, we all, the back and forth. We know that we gotta get we gotta get a few more projects. 
under our belt because we uh, we blended just way too smooth on this one. <laughs> Another thing I want to ask is, I mean, working with the iconic Fairly Brothers on this project, and it's it's so interesting how watching this, I, I wasn't really sure what to expect going in. You know, I mean, dark comedy, Fairly Brothers. Uh, I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm excited to give this a shot because I'm a huge fan. And it's so intrinsically them in the way that they take moments, like we said earlier, like moments that you really shouldn't be laughing at and you just can't help but roll on the floor like you're dying. Like, this is hilarious. Um, what was it like working with those guys as directors on, on this project? Oh, well, they're great. They're, um, you know, just from the jump, I've been able to to work with some, you know, some just a, a an all star cast of, of talent, and you know they were just coming off Green Book, and I'm like, oh, this is, you know, this is wild, this is nuts, and um, yeah, having conversation with uh, conversations with them about, you know, what what it was like for them to to come up in the business. Um, I had no idea that uh, uh, the first one was uh, Dumb and Dumber, right? Or it was yeah, yeah. I think so. so yeah, your first one coming out the gate, like you're, you're, you're a problem. You're, you're a force. And uh, yeah, they're super easy to talk to, um, even collaborative on on some scenes. You know, they they really want you to be as comfortable and, and make it as real as possible. And uh, man, I love how quick uh, Pete shoots. Boy, I tell you, I love <laughs> quick direction, man. And uh, he gets it done and knows what he wants. And when he sees it, we out of there. Uh, so yeah, so you got to love it. Uh, if they ever need me, they got my number. <laughs> uh, one thing I wanted to ask is I know that um, the show, the show is a short form series. Um, but did you guys film this like a TV series or was this was the shoot more kind of like a film set shoot? Um, a little bit of both. Um, okay. You know, uh, Fairly Brothers, they're going to want it to have that look. You know, they they got great. They got monster films under their belt. So they know it has to be of a high quality but at the same time we originally were shooting it as a series and um you know some this this app that used to be around we're not going to talk about them it was about 10 hmm. short, 10 I, it short slips little, my mind little episodes so you know it, we we shot it uh you know fast paced um you know we we shot it with with such a pace that it was almost as if it was you know a little sitcom but at the same time with the sets with the cameras with everything it was of a of a film's quality so yeah it was a mixture of both but at the same time it was a light-hearted set light-hearted crew um high morale you know i always believe that great morale makes great projects and uh yeah it was a it was a, a beautiful group effort that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I know that uh, that our time is getting close, and uh, I, I want to thank you for for sitting down and chatting with me today, O'Shea. Um, the last thing I want to ask, I'm going to go off book a little bit here. I want to ask about Star Wars. I know you can't say much. I know you can't. I know you can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to pry. I just have one question. I just have one question. That's, it. that's all I'm going to ask, and, if, and we'll see how it goes. All right. So can you tell us whether or not your character in Obi-Wan is an established Star Wars universe character or a new character? Can you say anything about that? I think, I think Mickey Mouse is calling me, man. I'm gonna have to hit you <laughs> up there. I to saw a little red dot. I did, I did. You know what? You're right. I saw a little red dot. You should probably, you should probably be careful. <laughs> yeah, man, um, you know, I can't go into too many details. I gotta, I gotta wait for the green light email of what they want me to to plan sure. out there, but it was such an honor to work for Star Wars. I'm such a nerd. If anybody who really knows me knows, <laughs> I'm a, a nerd to the core. That was the best job I ever had in my life. And I just, <laughs> you know, I just want to go back. I hope there's reshoots. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, uh, I can't wait for people to see it. I can't wait to see a trailer. I'm over here drooling like everybody else. Oh, nice. All right. Well, hey, O'Shea, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You've been awesome today, man. It was great chatting with you. Thank you, man. Have a good one.